Hi, I'm Steve from Motec, and this is a product demonstration video on our half inch angular torque gauge, the I8090. You'll probably see in your manual that not only do the bolts need to be torqued down, they now need to be angular torqued down. And for the best way to do this is by using a torque gauge. Taking the product out of the package, you will see it has a half inch drive socket on the top and a mal on the bottom. It has a dial going around to 360 degrees and it has a pointer which can be moved but also locked into place as well. It also has a long flexible arm with a clip to allow you to um, clip it onto something stable in the car so the whole unit won't move while tightening the bolts. As I'm not rebuilding an engine at the moment, I've set this up on a block of wood just so you can see how it works. I've already talked down the bolt to the required pressure. I'm now going to use the angular torque gauge. First, I'm going to put the socket on the bolt. If you are doing a engine rebuild, obviously you'll probably need an extension bar. Um, I'm then going to add the, on the bottom of the gauge, you'll see that's a male connector which fits into the female on the socket. Attach the flexible arm and clip to a convenient bit of casting. I'm going to use this screw that I've put into place. Untighten the screw and get the pointer reset to zero before starting. Once you're set to zero, attach your ratchet to the breaker bar and turn to the required degree, which in this case is 90. Once you've reached the correct angle, then remove the gauge and attach to the next fastener in the sequence. Always follow the manufacturer's tightening sequence and check if the bolts are to be tightened dry or lubricated. Thanks for watching. For any other questions regarding tools for the home, garage and garden, please visit amtechdiy.com and we look forward to answering them for you. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our Amtech DIY YouTube channel for more DIY videos. Thank you.